Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really, really help me in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. And I'm getting so many amazing comments lately. It really, really would help me just grow that a little bit more, which is ultimately what I would love to do. Today, let's move on. So we are looking at a real favourite product of mine. And actually this morning, I was whilst I was thinking of doing this clip, um, so it's Friday, so had a really long busy day at work, but always, even though we're working at home at the moment throughout the coronavirus pandemic, I always get myself ready first thing in the morning, always make sure my hair looks really super smart um, and really sharp and on point and make sure that I always, always get ready and get myself all as though I would be for work. Perhaps not the formal attire, I have comfortable clothes, always nice after shave, well shaven, always like to be sort of ready for anything. Um, and I was using this product. So the product we're looking at today is Alpazin. So this is the Black Edition and it's Alpazin. So I used this this morning and I was actually thinking that I must be, I must have used this product on and off. Not the Black Edition, of course, because that is new. But I have been using Alpazin, I think, from about when I left school at the age of 16. So I am now 27. So I have been using Alpazin on and off for around 11 years. Now you may well think why on earth when you've got a full head of hair and as you can see you may any any of my sort of regular viewers or subscribers may be thinking wow your hair's dark. It's because I've actually got um what because I've got a couple of wet sort of style products in today but quite a lot of volume for the top as you can see but it's darker in the front that's because the blonde highlights what I've got at the moment have grown really really grown out. Um, but going back to what I was saying the Alpazin, I have been using that on and off for around that time period. And yes, I've had breaks, but what I was saying is in regards to why I would want to use it, because prevention is always better than cure. And I think that Alpazin shampoo is really, really good for if you haven't got a problem, but you actually think, well, actually, because we all have those days, don't we, when you touch your hair and you feel it a little bit more finer, or if you've got, because I have fine hair, and very often if you have a day when you go to style your hair and you think to yourself, hmm, it feels a little bit thinner in this area, what I then do is I, I use Alpazin straight away. I jump on that straight away, and then I start using Alpazin. And then shortly, within about two, three to four weeks of me using Alpazin, I notice that my hair really starts to thicken up. Now, I would always say that Alpazin shampoo is for prevention rather than cure in regards to hair loss. Now, I'm not saying if you've got hair loss and you are quite extensively losing hair, then you can't use Alpazin because you can. But what I find Alpazin is really, really good at is keeping the hair you have. Um, I think if you have a real extensive uh, pattern of hair loss, so for example male pattern baldness, and you have hardly any hair on top and you're down to very very sparse hair, then I think that possibly Alpazin wouldn't be the best situation for you to start using, it wouldn't be the best product for you to start using at all. Um, it's always better to start early. There are things you can try for really extensive thinning hair, but I would say that Alpazin then would be a product which perhaps it's got, it's progressed a little bit too far for you to be able to use Alpazin. Now for me, let's get back to why I use Alpazin. Now I have had, uh, back in 2015, I have had problems with hair loss. I had this just in here. Um, so I had an area about the size of a golf ball and then it thinned out just across behind my hairline, about an inch behind. And it really got quite thin and quite extensively, uh, quite sparse. That, I believe, was all down to stress um, and poor eating at the time. Unfortunately, it was a part of a, it was a time in my life with lots of stress, lots of worry. Um, so I had quite a lot of hair loss. Um, I had a lot going on, a lot of health problems and things at the time, and a lot of situations um, which was really, really quite quite difficult to deal with. Um, thankfully, all of that is resolved now, um, and the hair did grow back. It never grew back to the exact same thickness as it was before, but as you can see, I have fine hair, and I certainly do have quite a lot of it, so it may be fine. Um, it's thinner in places, but I'm really, really happy with my hair, and Alpazin has helped me have really, really great hair for on and off just nearly 11 years now. So I think, wow, when I was thinking about this morning, I thought, how incredible is that? So we are looking at the Black Edition of Alpazin. Okay, so this is the new uh, new formula, I believe. I personally, uh, 
I absolutely love Alpazin. It doesn't irritate my scalp. Um, it doesn't make my hair feel really dry or coarse or really dried out at all. What Alpazin is really, really good at doing is it gives structure to the hair. It gives resistance to the hair. Now, if you're thinking, what does that mean? So, for example, with fine hair and thinning hair or thin hair, it can, which are all very different, by the way. So, fine hair okay, means that you're not losing hair, you've just got naturally fine hair. Thin hair is where the density of the hair is reduced. Doesn't, again, necessarily mean that you're losing hair at all. In fact, in most cases, it doesn't. Thinning hair is where the density of your hair is thin and it's slowly decreasing. There are lots of things with fine, thin and thinning hair, whereas men and women, you can still enjoy great, really, really sharp, dapper, glamorous looks for women, of course, and really dapper looks for men with even the thinnest of hair can still look super cool with the right tricks and tips. Have a look on my channel because I do have a lot on there, which is all about thin hair and making the most of thin hair and creating huge volume of styles, even in fine hair, which, believe you me, the right products, it does work. Now, Alpha in. What this does, which it really, really does, is it creates resistance in the hair. So if you think of it, fine hair can often be very, very soft, can be very, very downy, um, and can be really, really soft to the point where it doesn't hold a style. I'm sure many women can uh, relate to that as well. But with men, of course, if you have a really nice volumized style and you spend a lot of time styling it with product and wax and sort of maybe the blow dryer and different brushes and things, and then you've sprayed it with a uh, free spray or hairspray, whatever you want, if you haven't got the core things right, so for example, the right shampoo, the right conditioner, maybe a root lifting uh, spray, maybe uh, how you how you style your hair, even the right cuts, for example. If you've got fine hair, it just absolutely flops. Um, if you use the right products, for example, like Alpazin, what this does is it gives resistance in the hair. So it makes the hair feel instantly thicker because it hasn't got conditioning agents in here. Now, very often you will need conditioning agents in your hair, such as a conditioner to look after and moisturize and keep your hair super healthy for you to keep on styling your hair. But when you're styling your hair, you don't also, you don't always need the most sort of richest conditioner in the world. Sometimes just a small amount of moisture just to keep your hair from looking dry and just to keep it from feeling dry so you can manipulate your hair into that nice style. Alpazin is really good at giving that grip, that structure to make hair feel thicker and fuller. Now let's get down to the core basis. So Alpazin. On Alpazin it always says provides the roots directly with the activating ingredient. Now on the back of the black version, I notice it says prevents hereditary hair loss. Now I'm gonna put that out there. That is a huge, huge claim to make. Hereditary hair loss is a huge problem across the globe for men and women. Now I always think if you have got a relative in your family who is suffering with thinning hair, then you are susceptible to losing your hair or thinning hair or slightly losing hair or getting a little bit thinner throughout your life at some stage, if you've even got one relative. Now, with thinning hair, as I say, there is so much you can do with it, but I just find that Albazin should be a little bit careful when they're saying that prevents hereditary hair loss. Why does it prevent her hereditary hair loss? Well, here's my thoughts on it. Caffeine has had a lot of thought and a lot of talk behind it that it prevents and halts hair loss. Well, here's my understanding. Hair loss and thinning hair very, very, happen very often happens within men due to the testosterone, the byproduct of testosterone, which is a very long sciencey name, which is abbreviated to DHT. That's a byproduct from testosterone. Now, we all have testosterone in our bodies. But what happens is that byproduct of DHT, if your hair follicles are susceptible to that or sensitive to that, even just slightly, then you are susceptible to having thinning hair or a reduced density over time. Now, there is a lot of talk and there is a lot of thought behind caffeine that it freezes that effect. So it freezes the DHT around the follicles and then it halts that process. But you have to keep using it. You have to keep using it every day. Now with caffeine, Alpazin shampoo, they have the shampoo. So you have the normal one, you have the black one, you have the sensitive one, you have the dandruff one, and you have the double effect one, which is for dandruff and for stimulating hair growth as well. And then you also have the caffeine energizer liquid, which I love. And I use this very, very often whenever I need a little bit of boost in my hair, I find that my hair could do with a little bit more energy. But with that whole sort of talk around, if caffeine helps hair loss, 
I think it's fair to say you cannot guarantee this. You cannot guarantee it. But it is another tool to help you in the fight against hair loss for men. And of course, for women, there is an alternative, which is, I believe, under planter of the shampoo, conditioners and hair tonics for women. So that's very, very different. I haven't tried that. But the Alpazin Hair Energizer and the shampoo are really, really great at prepping and looking after the scalp for the optimum healthy hair growth. Now, getting back to that whole process and that talk about the testosterone and the byproduct of testosterone, DHT, of course, that very, very long sciencey word, a shortened to DHT. Let's talk about that a little bit more. So, for example, if you are sensitive or your follicles are sensitive to DHT, the byproduct of testosterone, which is the main culprit of thinning hair in men, then you will see over time, if you are experiencing thinning hair, a reduction of hair growth and thickness. Very often you will find in men that the temples creep back. The top of the, uh, the crown gets thinner and thinner and thinner into the point where the temples meet the crown and you're left with a thick amount of hair or thinner amount of hair around the sides. Gradually, what can happen is the reduction of the head gets thinner and thinner and thinner. And that means that what's happening is that DHT is basically strangulating the follicles in that real sensitive area, which is sensitive to the byproduct of testosterone. If you do nothing about it, it will get worse and worse and worse to the point where you may be left with some hair. It may take you completely bold. Hands up. That's being completely brutally honest. If you want to join that battle of looking after your hair, there are many things you can do. One thing which I absolutely think is a huge, huge, important culprit to be able to sort of incorporate into your hair care regime is scalp massage. Now, very, very often, hair is recognised and hair is recognised by a lot of people, of course, that it's non-essential. I mean, if we're healthy and well, then if you've got hair or not, let's be honest, as long as you're healthy and you're well, you're fine, aren't you? You're absolutely fine. Hair, you can do so many things about it. For confidence, for image, there's many things for men and women you can do. And it looks amazing, looks great. But however, the body also recognises hair as non-essential. Therefore, it's the last place in the body, or one of the last places in the body, where nutrients from the foods and from what we consume, it, it gets to the hair. So it's the last place. All those vitamins and minerals, it goes elsewhere in the body and then whatever's left, it goes to the hair. So if you're not eating or if you're not consuming a really nutrient rich, mineral rich diet, then your hair is going to suffer consequently. If you're not drinking enough water, your hair can suffer. If you haven't got the most healthy lifestyle with eating, whether you're not eating enough, whether you're eating too much of the wrong foods, that can have a detrimental effect on your hair. Some medications sadly can have an effect on your hair and we know illness and ill health can have an effect on your hair as well. And of course, stress can be a big culprit to thinning hair. But what we're talking about is that DHT, that byproduct of testosterone. So this is what Alprazin tries to get at the core of sort of depleting and trying to sort of take a grip of or trying to sort of suspend that from happening anymore or to put in an absolute freeze halt on it. So caffeine is supposedly thought that it has a huge help in inhibiting what that process of DHT tries to do to our scalps if your follicles are susceptible to DHT, the byproduct of testosterone. Now, Without prison, you have to use it every day for that effect. So for me, if I'm finding that there's a problem with my hair, if I'm finding that my hair feels a bit thin, or if I'm washing my hair and I'm seeing a lot more hair um, than what I'd like, then I jump on straight away and I use Alpazin. As soon as I've used Alpazin for about two weeks, I notice a reduction in the hair fall straight away. And then if I boost that effect with the caffeine energizer, I get a much more of an effect, much more of a cooling effect, much more of a stimulating effect. Personally, I absolutely swear by Alpazin. I think it's a thing you either love or you hate. There's a mixture of reviews. There's lots of good reviews. There's lots of not so good reviews. But I think, again, it's that whole expectation. Alpazin, I believe, is really, really great at extending the activity of the hair follicles. So I think if you think of it in terms that hair needs energy, we need energy, don't we, every single day. Hair needs energy to stay healthy, to anchor to the scalp and to keep growing. And let's be honest, with everything we throw at it through styling, through possibly colouring, through heat, through sort of 
could be pollution, it could be different different things going on, could be stresses, all sorts of things people, men and women, do to the hair. It needs energy. So to stay optimum and in its most healthiest state, you need to do the right things. So of course that means diet, of course that means exercise and a life of moderation, but it also means getting stimulation. So making sure that you take those moments when you're shampooing your hair to really invigorate and really massage your scalp, because I find that really, really important. And again, that's another tool for you to be able to keep your hair for as long as possible, as thick as possible, and hopefully you're never going to lose it. Because what you're doing then is you're getting that blood flow pumping to the follicles and those nutrient rich ingredients within the body are getting to the hair. So your hair can then enjoy that and then hopefully grow as healthy as possible. If only if it was that easy how it sounds, hair is truly, truly complicated in every single one of us. And if it was the same in every single one of us, no one would ever lose their hair. Something to think about. So caffeine shampoo, the black edition. I believe this is a slightly different formula. It's got a slightly different smell. It's a really lovely product. It doesn't affect my scalp. It doesn't make my scalp uncomfortable, itchy. It doesn't make my scalp feel irritated. It doesn't make it feel that there's sort of something which really isn't going to agree with me. It doesn't bring me out in a rash. It does make my scalp feel cool. It does make it feel quite soothed. And it does sort of give me that zing sort of feeling as though it's almost got mint in here. I believe it's got menthol in here. Let's just have a quick look. It, uh, let's have a look. I believe it has got a menthol in here. Yes. Yes, <laughs> there we go. I've looked past it about three times. It's also got uh, castor oil in here. Of course, it's got the caffeine in here. Um, and it has got the product which I wanted to pick up on, Hygienized Wheat Protein, which is another product which you will find very often in thin or thinning hair or fine hair shampoos and conditioners. Because what that does ultimately is, of course, yes, you want to have to use the product for a while before you see the effects of the hair growing thicker, fuller, stimulated, that type of thing, more energy in the hair. But you want that effect quickly, don't you? So with products like hydrogenized wheat protein, what happens if you imagine the cuticle of the hair with a product very often for fine or thinning hair or fine hair has these proteins in it or these hydrogenized wheat proteins. If you imagine a single hair on its own, then after you use the product with the hydrogenized wheat protein in it, it elopes itself around the hair and of course it makes it appear thicker, fuller, and gives resistance in the hair. So therefore when you dry it, if you use a blow dryer or just naturally, it appears thicker, it stands away from the scalp fuller, and you can enjoy styling thicker fuller hair okay so alp is in itself so just have a look a lot on the front here so it's a hair energizer we know that we've talked about that it's a caffeine shampoo it stimulates hair uh, hair roots during washing now i usually leave mine on for around five to ten minutes whilst i'm washing my face whilst i'm doing my teeth whilst i'm getting everything else ready so it's the first thing i do in the morning i put this through my hair then very often, what I then do is I leave that in for about 5-10 minutes, then I use some conditioner sometimes, sometimes I don't, if I want a bit more of a resistance in my hair, if I think that I'm going to do a style which needs a bit more body or a bit more volume in the style, like those pompadour styles, then I may skip the conditioner, but then what I will do is I always use a heat protectant in the hair just to make sure that I'm looking after the hair, and then when I come to wash that style out, I use sort of extra conditioner, um, oils, leave-in conditioners, just to make sure that I look after the hair. Very often what I always like to do first thing in the morning and sometimes of an evening is go through with the uh, Alpazin Energizer, which is a really great sort of hair tonic. It's sort of a wake up, pick me up product, which just pops up the product from the shampoo. So both fantastic in terms of sort of that wake up feeling and it gives volume in the hair, it gives structure. It gives you that sort of foundation, that structure, that scuffling for you to then go on and create a really great, amazing style. So let's tell you a little bit more about it. So it's got the patented skin uh, activator in here, which is, of course, what Alpazin uh, have for the activation, the sort of the invigoration of the hair from the caffeine. So we know all about that. Uh, the C1 for strong hair, which never 100% sure C1 what that necessarily means. But I'm just going by it at the bottom here. It's for strong hair. So I'm sure it relates to the caffeine ingredients. Um, if not, please feel free to correct me down below here. Um, please leave comments and I'll get back to them as quickly as I can. I really, really love receiving comments from my uh, my viewers, my subscribers. Um, and as I say, I will always share my uh, my views, my uh, history, my stories. Um, and I just can't really thank you enough for that. So thank you very much if you do choose to do that. On the back here, it's got apply daily, leave on for two minutes. As I say, I always leave mine on for a little bit more. You don't have to, of course. And then it says here, without silicones, the hair immediately becomes uh, becomes more grip. 
strange, I never picked that up. Um, doesn't quite make sense, though, does it? Without silicons, the hair immediately becomes more grip. So I believe it has more grip. Um, so silicons and things are very often, bearing in mind, are put in shampoos and conditioners to give that luxurious shine, that luxurious finish, that smoothness, that sleekness. Very often that can taint the hair, that can weigh the hair down if you've got finer hair. And after time of using products with richer silicons and those type of things in the hair, it can have a bit of a detrimental effect on the hair itself. Uh, so with a product which doesn't have silicons and things in, you're getting that natural core basis of the product and it just gives a little bit more resistance in the hair as well. Let's read a little bit more. So uh, we've got application. So it says leave on for two minutes from application to rinse. And on the bottom here, it's just got information for competitive athletes. Alpazin caffeine can be detected in hair follicles. So that is something which is quite important to you or you do have to be aware of that. Just be mindful that it does stay in the hair follicles there. So if that is an issue, just have a little bit of caution there in your approach. OK, so in terms of smell, it's got a really, really lovely, fresh sort of uh, masculine, I'd say, a bit more like a sports fragrance. If you've ever used like a sports body uh, body wash or anything like that at all, um, it smells a little bit like that. But it's a really pleasant, nice, fra uh, fresh, fragrant, uplifting smell. It's great for using first thing in the morning and last thing at night. And it really does create that nice optimum volume in the hair as well, which is, of course, an added bonus for people with fine hair. And it works well with the Energizer, too. So really, ultimately, a really, really great sort of supporting package there for fine hair or for thinning hair or for hair which you're really concerned or worried about. In terms of price, you can uh, you can you can get such a varying price. You really really can for Alpazin. I think it's fair to say that you would get it for around the uh, the six pounds all the way all the way up to around about the eight eight pounds fifty uh, mark. And the same again for the Energizer six to around about the eight pounds fifty mark as well. Usually this is closer to eight pounds. I have to admit now it's got more expensive recently. Um, and this one here, again, around the £7 to £8.50 mark. Um, but for the Black Edition, I'd say I was a little bit sort of, not disappointed, but a little bit sort of, I don't really know how to describe it, but I did think that it would be a slightly different formula. But to be honest, as far as I can see, it's pretty much the same as the standard Energizer. It's just got a slightly different smell and they've revamped the packaging so it looks really smart, really modern, really sleek um, and just like a really ultimately cool product. And it is quality. I have to admit that there. It is quality and it certainly does look after your hair. And after all, if it's just one, two, three, four, go again, five hairs extra not being in the sink on your head, then an absolute bonus, isn't it? OK, so if you do, as I say, have any questions for me in regards to Alpazin, I have been using it an awful long time. Please let me know. I'll do my best to get back to you as quickly as possible. This has been a clip I've really, really enjoyed. I love the whole Alpazin family range of products, and it will probably be certainly something which I'll come against uh, or come up with or review or have a look or tackle on my channel again, possibly in the near future, or we may give it a little bit of a break and come back to Alpazin in the latter future. Okay, thanks very much for watching and until next time we see you then. Bye bye now.